Okay, welcome to The Flying Show. My name's Carlos Balmaceda. This morning we find ourselves in sunny, warm Werribee where the ground temperature is probably about 3 degrees but possibly at 1,000 feet it'll be minus 3 degrees. And I have the pleasure of having here with me the unmistakable, distinct, voluptuous silhouette of none other than an aeroshoot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I also happen to have with me here Stephen Conti, CEO of Aeroshoot Industries. How are you, Stephen? Very well, thanks you, Carlos. <laughs> That's great. Uh, look, welcome to the show and Thank thanks you. for giving us a few minutes of your time. Now, this contraption has been described as a flying go-kart, uh, flying uh, laundry basket, yep. um, all sorts of things. Can you just briefly give us a, a history on it? How did it get to our shores and exactly what is it? All right, no worries, Carlos. We've got a, an aero chute, which is a motorised parachute. So the idea of it is that you lay the parachute on the ground, the motor blows it up, lifts it above your head, and when it's open, you just take off. So in the air, you can't stall it, you can't spin it. If the engine stops, you just parachute safely to the ground. Well, that sounds very safe. Um, Obviously, if the parachute doesn't come up properly, you, you cannot take off? Or exactly. Is it? That's right, yeah. So you make sure you watch the parachute, look left and right, and when it's okay, you put the full power on and it'll just lift off the ground. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this, Stephen? Uh, usually, I tell my students about a week, but uh, <laughs> we've been doing this for 25 years now, and uh, it's been going very successfully. We sell it all over the world, um, and it's a great sport to get into. Yeah. Now, uh, age, uh, can anybody fly this? Can I fly this? Anyone can fly this. <laughs> now answer the question. <laughs> no, we, we go to lots of shows and especially when we go to the Avalon Air Show, we find that people look at all these big planes and they dream about flying and all this sort of thing. Then they come and see us and they look at it and they, even I could do that, even I could fly that. Yeah, so is there an age limit? What's the youngest and what's the eldest you've taught? Uh, the minimum age is 15 to get a licence and it's, that's done through the uh, Recreation Aviation Australia and we do all the training for the aeroshoots and powered parachutes and the oldest person that's flying is about 84 at the moment and he's still going strong. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. Um, now obviously transportation, easy. Um, easy. Set up, how quickly is it, is it to set up? Uh, well, transportation, it fits in the back of a ute or a small trailer. So you can park it in your garage at home. Lots of people take it on holidays with them. Uh, set up time, by the time you get to the airfield, pre-flight check, warm up, lay the chute out, you're in the air in about 15 minutes. Oh, that is brilliant. That is sensational because that's what you want to do. You want to get up and fly as quickly as you possibly can once you get to the airfield. And um, what are the limitations? Where can you fly this thing? The limitations on the machine are 15 knot winds. So usually when you lay the parachute on the ground, if the wind starts to blow it up, then it's getting too strong because the higher you go the stronger the wind gets. Um, the limitations with uh, areas you can fly, you just need permission from a property owner, um, you've got to be out of controlled airspace and your minimum height is 300 feet and your maximum height is 5,000 feet. Well that's pretty high isn't it? Yeah 5,000 feet's a long way up. Yeah well I've been up that high and it's, it is fairly high and the engine even sounds different at that height, it's, yeah, it's absolutely yeah. brilliant. Um, okay well look uh, what we're going to do is um, See if I can take one of these things up, have yes. a fly, and... Um, do you want me to start training you now, or...? Um... <laughs> you want to start, start training? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. How long does it take uh, for the, the everyday person to uh, be up solo? Yeah, it's, it's 20 hours for a licence, and usually between four to six hours of dual flying, we get people solo. So you could be flying with me in, in the morning, and we get two or three hours up, and the next morning we'll get you solo. That's how easy it is. That is absolutely brilliant. I mean, what could be easier? And it's so safe. I mean, you've got an open parachute with you all the time. Exactly. Um, engine fails, as you said. You can just, as long as you find a spot to land, you should be able to land safely. Yeah, and that's one of the things we do in the training. We teach people how to land it. So we just back the power off to idle. We let it glide down, and it just flares out like a normal parachute. Yeah, so basically your training covers all those situations in case that something does happen. Exactly, yes. Well, that's sensational, Stephen. Now, um, we might have a bit of a walk around and just show us the instrument or, and what, what have you. Um, so we'll just... Um... All right, Stephen, now take us through some of the uh, instruments here. It, it looks very basic, but you're the expert. You let me know what's yeah, going on. Well, with the controls, you've got a foot throttle at the front here. So the foot throttle is controlled on both sides. So when I'm training, I can the student can have a side and the instructor has a side. So that controls your height. So the more power you put on, you'll climb. Take power off, you'll descend. Yeah. Up the top here, we've got uh, steering toggles. So you've got two toggles here connected to the parachute. So if you pull left, you turn left. If you pull right, you turn right. If you let go, what happens is the lines just come straight up the top and it just flies straight and level. Right. 
So the instruments, um, there's not a lot of instruments. We have uh, an altimeter set up that tells you the height when you're flying. Um, we have a taco and an hour meter. So when it's flying, it gives you the revs of the engine. And uh, when you land, you can see how many hours you've done. And it has a water temperature gauge on this one as well. So the engine is a, um, a Rotax 582cc, and that's uh, 65 horsepower. So this machine here will take up 250 kilos pilot and passenger. That's good news <laughs> for some. So, uh, yeah, people say everyone is getting bigger these days, so yeah. we're making bigger machines to suit them. Yeah, yeah. And I take it that's the parachute there? And that's the parachute. Over the top behind. Yeah, so you lay the parachute on the back. Um, this parachute's uh, 370 square feet, um, and it has about a 4 to 1 glide ratio. And, and that's about it? That's about it. That's about it. So that's so simple. So simple. And, yeah. No wonder it's becoming so popular and it's uh, growing in, in popularity every day. So, all right, well, look, I can't wait to get in and take off. No worries. Let's go. Let me tell you, that was uh, an incredible amount of fun. Uh, it's difficult to describe in words. Uh, I've been doing flying, well I got introduced into ultralight flying since I, the age of 16 and I've flown different planes since then and this is the one that I'm stuck with now. Uh, the uh, powered parachute, two-seater, an incredible amount of fun. Uh, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. 
and uh, safe flying. Until next time.